It is an honor to welcome Edward Mossberg. Edward, so grateful to have you here. Thank you. These people love you, Edward. Yours is an amazing story. Tonight you wear the kind of garment that you wore as someone in one of the worst camps that the Nazis put together, Mauthausen. You're now 93 years old. You've lived through a lot. Uh, but it, it's hard to imagine that you survived what you survived. Most of your family were murdered by the Nazis, weren't they? My grandparents were murdered in one camp. My father was shot right in the beginning. My mother was taken to, to the Auschwitz gas chambers. My two sisters <coughs> were shot with seven other thousand women by the Baltic Sea with a machine gun, and the following day was, was liberation. And you survived Mauthausen. In Mauthausen, we were carrying a ball, the 186 steps, and you were carrying the boulders up and down from early in the morning till in the afternoon. If you stop, they shoot you, or on the top of the mountain, they have like a parachute wall, they called it, and anybody go there, they were pushing them off the mountains to their death. I was there, and I'm a witness to it, and, and I testify. How did you have just the will to keep <clears throat> on day after day of that kind of horrible treatment, slave labor? I, I really don't know. Only one thing that I know, that I now, I go and talk because I lost my whole family. Okay, so I have to go and talk because in Belzec, I lost 16 members of my family. Mm. When I walked through that quiet place, I could hear the cries of my family and the 600,000 Jews that were murdered there. Don't forget us. Mm. How can we forget and forgive? Only the dead can forgive. This is a picture of your family. You can talk about it firsthand. You, you wear that which was put on you during that horrendous time. Does it shock you that there are people, even today, who deny the Holocaust? Well, I would like to meet the guy, you know where? In Mauthausen on top of the quarry, mm. where, from where they were pushing the man. I would hold his hand and I would jump with him together. <laughs> What is this? Is this what was used on people like you? Yes, I was once beaten by four men. I was laying on the ground, they were kicking me, and then they had a bottle of water, and they tried to put my head into it to drown me. Mm -hmm. But I survived. I survived so many times the death that you cannot even tell you how many times. I and was once by two SS. One hit me, I fell down to the ground, and the other one took the rifle to shoot me, okay, and he, the other one knocked out his rifle out of his hand. Oh. I mean, many times I faced death. And God. I faced death beside this. When I survived, I was sick with tuberculosis of bones and lungs. And the doctor said, I'll not live long, and I beat it. I'd say you have. Yes. I'd say you have, yeah. At 93. And now, Governor, now, I just had a, last year I had a cancer in three or four different places, and now they make a test on me, and they found that the cancer spread to my liver, to my bladder, and to my lungs. But I will beat this too, because I have to go and talk and talk. If anybody will do it, Edward, I have no doubt about you being able to do it. There is something I find fascinating. You go through this, you, you have nothing. Your family is all murdered by the Nazis. You miraculously survive. I have to believe God intervened in your life. You and your wife met. You came to the United States after World War II with all of $10 and the clothes on your back. That's it. 
ten dollars. And I, I, I want to just say, and I'm not trying to put you on the spot or embarrass you. No. You, no you're a wealthy not. man. This country's been pretty good to you, hasn't it? Yes. Yes. Well, and I always say, God bless America. <laughs> and one other thing I find amazing to you about you, you come to this country, survived the Holocaust. How special was it to be at the opening of the U.S. Embassy in Jerusalem? You and I were both there. I saw you there. Yes. What was that kind of moment to say, I survived the Holocaust. I'm now in the Jewish state of Israel that the Nazis tried to make sure would never happen. And I'm standing as the embassy is being declared in the ancient capital of Jerusalem. I was very proud of it, especially because you was there too. Hmm. Well, it was a joy, an electric occasion to say the least. Edward, your story. Can I say yes, one more thing? Yes, please. They talk, who is guilty for the Holocaust? Hmm. I blame the, the German nation because if they would not vote for Hitler at that time, there would be no Nazi, there would be no Holocaust. Hmm. Okay? And one more thing. If President Truman would be at, uh, President Trump would be at that time, he would bomb the crematoriums, he would bomb the, the railroad tracks leading and try to save many millions of people. So wow. God bless <clears throat> President Trump and God bless United States and God <clears throat> bless you, <clears throat> all of you. And thank you for <clears throat> listening to me. And God bless Edward Mossberg. I want to express our deepest appreciation to Edward Mossberg for being with us, sharing his harrowing and inspiring story. We must never forget the Holocaust. We must never allow anything like it again. Now, if you're seeing this, I know you've enjoyed that video. I mean, how could you not after all? So you know what you should do? Leave a like, click on the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell next to it so you'll always know when I have another video up for you to enjoy.